This is my new website I'm building called rollofolio.com, which is just kind of a place for artists to upload their images, videos, or animations, or anything like that. I've done this in JavaScript before, but with Blazor, it's nice to be all C-sharp. Now, I will tell you my first idea for this when I made the video was to use two images, and I had it working, but there was actually a little bit of a flicker the very first time. It was kind of slight, but it was annoying enough that I noticed it. I don't even see very well, so I'm sure everybody else would see it. You start typing, it just you know, that goes right away, and as soon as you go back to where there's no text, it just the search word shows back up. So this is you know really simple Blazor stuff. But I'll go ahead and show you how I did it. The very first thing you have to do is go over here and manage NuGet packages for solution, and add Blazor styled. Now I already have it installed, but if you don't, just you know type in Blazor styled here. It comes right up. That was in my cached, I mean my recent list here. So once you have it installed, the only thing you need to do is go to startup.csharp and I add a using statement for Blazor styled. And in the configure services, I add a services.addBlazor styled. This, and I'll go to my index.razor page. And this is the class that holds the, this is the text box. So here we've got a little rounded quarter radius and I set the, you know, the text as white and a little padding few things I found this just through a Google search tonight on how to do a rounded corner text box and then the search CSS this is the variable that all of this class here becomes and then that is set to the the CSS class for our input text box here now there's one key thing I want to show you here in our search text the input uh, the text box the search text, of course, is the variable, so that's how I, whenever I get to the actual search, I haven't gotten that far in my, I don't even have a, my database doesn't have anything in it yet, but I've got a database for this. But I have this bind event. This is what I just learned tonight, how to make it. This fires on every key press, because if you don't have this, I'll just show you really quickly, because this is the way it was when I first did this and then one quick Google search and Blazor Docs actually told me how to do it I was surprised and it was like the top of the page too. usually have to scroll down through 30 pages of Microsoft jargon to find it okay if you hear you do it it'll still work but you have to tab away before that does it which is not what you want for this so that's why I was really uh, impressed with that so let's go back to that index.razor and I'll just uh, paste that back in I hope that's yeah so there, that bind event um, on input, you know, is the key there. And then the here, search word is the variable for, don't even believe I made it a constant. I could have, I probably should have, but here I just set the search word to search here in the constructor for this page. That's the first thing that gets set when this page is instantiated, or one of the first things. So here's the search text. I'll show you this really quickly. Now here is a, I have this NuGet package, as I mentioned, datajuggler.ultimatehelper.core. That's my NuGet package. And you could also just put string.isNull or empty or isNull or white space. But the thing I like about this is if you have multiple variables, you can have up to five, uh, you know, overrides for a, how many strings you need to collect for validation. It's really useful. Or just to make sure everything exists before you refer to any variables. Okay, and here I have search word is set to, as I said, it should have been a constant, you know, but this was a really quick video. But I thought that was just a neat way to make a little, uh, you know, search, search text kind of type of thing, similar to doing it with JavaScript. And I've done some JavaScript interrupt, but it's always better to me to be able to use C Sharp on the front end and the back end. So that was our really quick little how to make a search box. And thanks for watching and have a great day.